In this three and a half minute video, I'm going to show you how to use the image library. The image library contains all of your photos and logos that you'll use on your marketing pieces. To access the image library from the home page, click on your username here in the upper right hand corner and then click on image library. So here's your image library and I'm going to show you a couple features here. Across the top you'll see three tabs. The first tab says images and this is where all the images that you have uploaded will appear. If you want to search for a particular photo, you can type any part of the photo name into this search box and then click the find button. This will show you any images that match your search parameter. To view all of your images again, click here on the all link. You can also mark images as a favorite. To do that, click on this heart icon on any image you want to mark as a favorite. Now if you only want to look at your favorite images, click on the Your Favorites link. And again, to look at all of your photos, click on the All link. This blue button allows you to edit the name of the image. For photographs of a listing, a lot of our users will use the address of the listed property. When you have the new name typed in, just click this green check mark to save it. And if you have an image that you no longer want to use, just click the X button. You'll receive a warning message to make sure you really want to delete this image. If you do, click the delete image button. If you want to add a new image, you can do so here by clicking the click here to upload button. We now have a new box that opens where you specify the images you want to upload. If you want to select more than one image, just hold down the control key on your keyboard as you click the images you want to upload. Once you have your images selected, click the open button. Now your images have been uploaded into your image gallery. Now let's look at the next tab across the top, real estate logos. If you set up your company in prospectsplus.com as a franchise, you will see franchise logos here and you'll have the opportunity to choose one or more to use on your marketing pieces. Finally, let's look at QR codes. A QR code can be placed on a business card or really any of your marketing pieces to allow a user to scan it with their smartphone to get your phone number or website or an email address really easily. So to begin, we'll click on the Create QR Code button. Here in the QR text box, type in your website address, a phone number, or your email address. Then type in the caption for your QR code so you'll know what it does. And now click the Save button. Your new QR code has been generated and saved in your image gallery under the QR Codes tab. You can create as many QR codes as you need. If you have any other questions, please contact us at 866 four zero five three six three eight or email us support at prospects plus dot com